Hello and welcome. My name is Reef Downey and currently I'm a student at Cedar International School, an IB World School located in Tortola, British Virgin Islands. I'm a student in grade 10 and I must complete something called the Personal Project. The Personal Project is essentially a year-long program where the student gets to choose their own topic based on personal interests and passions. My passion is music, so I've done my personal project on how to record vocals, electric guitar or bass, as well as acoustic instruments such as acoustic guitar or cello. Personal project is graded more on the journey and reflection of the project rather than the final product. If you wish to help me score a better grade, please send all feedback, good or bad, to reef.downing at cedarschoolbvi.com. This will help me reflect on the things I did right and wrong, as well as let me address the things I could have done better. As you can tell from the title, this video will be about the process of recording instruments. The instruments I'll be focusing on are the acoustic guitar or any other acoustic instrument such as the cello or double bass, vocals, and electric guitars or basses. This video will not include any information about recording other instruments such as drums, wind instruments, etc. P.S. This will mainly be a tutorial for Windows based computers as that is what I use and what I'm most familiar with. However, the software is almost identical on both operating systems, so you'll be able to use those instructions whether you're on a Mac or a Windows. Now the first part of this video is just a little overview of what you'll need in order to record. The first section highlights the hardware needed, and the second is about the software. The necessary hardware needed to record are as follows. You'll need one or more mics, plus mic cables and stands, a mic input, a computer, external speakers or a good pair of headphones, I prefer using headphones, a guitar or bass, and an amp if you're recording through an amp, and an acoustic guitar if you're recording an acoustic guitar. Now onto the software. You'll need some music software to record onto. What I have listed here are three softwares. The first is Ableton Live 9, which is what I used. Ableton is an amazing piece of software, however it's quite costly, which is why I've added two free alternatives, one for Mac and one for Windows. Now this next part is about setting up the mics. What you'll need is one or two mics, plus cables and stands, a microphone input, and a computer. First thing you'll want to do is get your mic set up. This right here is called a tube amp. It allows you to plug your mic or amp into the input device, which in our case is a computer. Now to get set up, you have to plug your mic into the input at the back here. I have a guitar lead with a 3.5mm adapter on it, which I could just use to plug into my microphone saw to my computer. Now make sure you don't get the inputs and outputs mixed up. Now that you've got your inputs and your outputs set up, what you're going to want to do is see if your computer is actually picking up the signal from the microphone. Go to Control Panel, go to Hardware and Sound, and then under the Sound area, go to Manage Audio Devices. A new window should appear. Go to Recording, and you can see here that I'm getting a lot of signal from my microphone. Now if you're getting maybe one or two bars and you feel like your mic is too quiet, all you have to do is click on it and go to Properties. Go to the Levels tab. And here you can change your settings accordingly. Now after the next section you'll be able to start recording. This part will focus on recording instruments like guitar and bass through an amp. What you'll need is one or more mics plus mic cables and stands, microphone input, a guitar or bass, a guitar or bass amp, and a pair of headphones. First you'll have to decide what method you want to use when micing up your amp. There are a lot of different mic placements that you can use to find the right tone for you. I suggest researching the different ways so you know which method you want to use. I only use one mic when micing up my amp, so this part will be about micing up with just one mic. The first thing you want to do is make sure the amp is on and that you have a lead plugged in. You also want your mics already set up. For this part you'll need a pair of headphones so you can hear what the mic is picking up. Stereo speakers work as well, but in my opinion, headphones are much better for the job. You'll want to place your finger on the jack to create a buzzing sound from the amp. Hover the mic over the amp horizontally from left to right starting in the middle until you find the strongest sounding point. It should sound something like this. Keep the mic in the same place horizontally but move the mic vertically this time. This is called finding the sweet spot. I recommend putting something over the sweet spot so you don't lose it. Also you're going to want to set up a mic stand to keep the mic in place over the sweet spot. Unfortunately, I did not have a mic stand and instead made one out of things I had lying around the house. You can now begin recording. This part is all about recording acoustic guitar. The methods used in this part can also be used for recording other instruments like the cello. What you'll need for this section is one or more mics plus cables and stands, a microphone input, an acoustic guitar, a computer, and a pair of headphones. 
There are a lot of different mic setups to get different tones from acoustic guitars, but for my recording, I needed a fairly deep sound, so I had one mic pointed towards the sound hole and one towards the end of the fretboard, as you can see in these pictures. This is called an XY configuration. If you've decided what method you want to use for setting up the mics and have put the mics in those positions, then you'll want to fine tune the mic locations to find the perfect tone you're looking for. Adjust the mics vertically and horizontally until you get the sound you like. This is easiest done with mic stands, but as you can see in these pictures, I do not have any mic stands and had to use a chair instead. This worked well, but was not ideal as the mics would sometimes slide downwards. Be sure not to move the mics around too much because this will give you different tones and sounds. You want to keep the sound relatively the same throughout the whole song. Now you can begin recording with acoustic guitar. This part will focus on actually recording. What you'll need is one or more mics, plus mic cables and stands, a microphone input, the instrument you're recording, music software of your choice, and a pair of headphones. This is the final step in recording an instrument. This section is all about actually recording what you're playing into your selected software. This step can only be done after the mics have been properly set up. Once you have your music software opened, you're going to want to make sure that the software is picking up the mics. All I have to do is go right here, and you'll be able to see that I am in fact getting signal. Now if you're picking up signal, you should be happy, because you've overcome the hardest part. The rest is quite easy. If you haven't been able to pick up signal, then I suggest re-watching the first few steps to see if you did anything wrong. If it's still not working, leave me an email and I'll try to help you out with your problem. Now to actually record what you're playing, all you need to do is find the record button on your software. Mine is right here and all I have to do is click to make it start recording. Now you can play whatever it is you need to record and it'll save it. This is just a little extra piece of information that might help you out. You want to make sure that your mic isn't outputting too much signal. To check this, you have to go to the mic in your software and make sure that it's not going over the line and turning red. If it is, you can just lower the levels or boost like I showed you earlier, or simply just lower the bar in the software like this. If your mic is outputting above the red line, then you'll get a very muffled sound and it won't be a very good recording. Another way to check if your mic is outputting too much is just look at your audio waves. If they are very big and all over the place, then you'll either have a very loud recording or your mic is being muffled. It should look similar to mine, because you can always raise the volume later on. I hope this helped you learn all you need to know about recording. Remember, if you want to help me out, send an email to reef.downing at cedarschoolbvi.com about any feedback you might have, whether it be good or bad. Also, if you need any help, you can send questions to the same email address and I'll try my hardest to help you. Thanks for watching.